first class requirement number nine, part A. Tell what precautions must be taken for a safe trip afloat. Canoeing, sailing, motorboating, kayaking. There's no end to the fun and adventures you can have on the water. But the fun does end whenever safety ends. That's why the BSA safety afloat guidelines are so important. These guidelines include qualified supervision. You must have an experienced adult leader to supervise all activity. You need evidence of fitness for swimming based on a complete health history. You get that from a doctor and your parent or guardian. You must be classified as a swimmer to participate in scout activity afloat. If you haven't passed the swimmer test, you must be accompanied by an adult classified as a swimmer, lifeguard, or lifesaver, depending on the watercraft vehicle involved. You must be properly fitted and wearing a U.S. Coast Guard approved personal flotation device. Whenever you're on open water, scouts never go on the water alone. Every person has a buddy and every craft has a buddy boat. Everyone participating in activity afloat must be trained and practiced in craft handling skills, safety, and emergency procedures. Before you go afloat, you must have a float plan detailing your route, time schedule, and contingency plans. Take account of water conditions, weather, and rules and regulations. This plan should be shared with your parents, local authorities, and scout leaders. All equipment must be suited to your craft, to the water conditions, and to the individuals. It should be in good repair and meet all standards. It must have the appropriate rescue equipment. Safety equipment aside, all scouts must respect the rules and follow directions from the supervising adult on any activity afloat. That's first class requirement 9A, precautions to be taken for a safe trip afloat.